Hey guys, this is Damien with Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. In this video, I will be doing a comprehensive performance analysis between both the S23 Ultra and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. My testing tools will be Geekbench 6, 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, Genshin Impact, and last, compressing 4K footage to 1080p on Adobe Rush. I will also keep tally between each test to see which device scores the most by the end of this video. Therefore, we can determine objectively which device has overall better performance. So let's start with Geekbench 6. FYI, Geekbench 5 scores cannot be directly compared to Geekbench 6 as this new version stretches the CPU much more with both additional and revised testing measures. I definitely check out interviews in their press release to learn more. Anyways, as we can see, the iPhone is scoring a lot higher than the S23 Ultra and specifically CPU performance. To be more precise, the iPhone is scoring about 25% higher in single core performance and 21% higher in multi-core score performance. The iPhone definitely wins this first test. Now, moving on to the second test, here we will test and stress the GPU performance in both devices. I will use 3 Mark Wildlife Stress Test as this benchmark imitates a graphically demanding 4K game. This test runs for 20 minutes and will definitely push your phone to its limits. Now, as we can see, here the S23 Ultra this time is completely dominating the iPhone in this test in both peak and sustained GPU performance. When looking at the best loop score, or in other words, peak performance, the S23 Ultra is scoring about 14% higher. As for sustained performance, so when looking at the lowest loop score, the S23 Ultra is scoring about 19% higher. All in all, the S23 Ultra definitely wins for this second test. Now, moving on to the third test, here we will use Genshin Impact, as this is the most demanding game to date. FYI, the iPhone does run this game with slightly higher resolution and in-game textures. Therefore, I will take this into consideration when comparing FPS averages. Last, I will test for 10 minutes, but for the sake of keeping this video short, I will show only two minutes of gameplay where throttling is present. You can definitely watch the full test as I will put a link in the comments below. So as you can see, the iPhone averaged 58.8 frames per second, while the S23 Ultra averaged 57.1 frames per second after 10 minutes of testing. The S23 Ultra started to heavily throttle around 7 minutes, while the iPhone experienced very minor frame drops throughout testing. Even more, the iPhone again is running the game at a higher resolution, better in-game textures, all the while maintaining lower temperature. Henceforth, the iPhone definitely wins for this third test. Last but not least, for the last test, I will compress filtered 4K video to 1080p using Adobe Rush. This is also another great way to test performance between both devices. So let me go ahead and set this test up.
And here we go. As you can see, the iPhone wins again in this test, therefore getting the last tally. All in all, when looking at all four tests, the iPhone scored three, while the S23 Ultra scored one. It seems for now, the iPhone still remains on top between both of these flagship phones. However, I am slightly confused on how the iPhone still beats the S23 Ultra in gaming, despite the huge GPU gains. Anyways, let me know in the comments your thoughts and other potential phones you'd like me to compare in this format. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you all next time.